All right, welcome back, everyone. Um, in today's episode, this should be episode uh, eight, I believe. Um, in today's episode, we are going to be finishing off our attacking. So um, the first thing we're going to do is um, make this a little bigger so you can kind of see. Um, I've added in the set blend position with the input vector here. Um, yeah, so with the input vector, we're also going to set the blend position, which um, is for attack. And we're also going to take this guy we're going to copy it, go to here, and we're going to change this to attack. And now we're going to travel to attack. We're also going to do one more thing. We're going to remove this function, and we're going to create a new function called attack finished. And then in this function, all we're going to do is say attacking false. And the reason why is because we're going to make it in the animation. So we're going to add it in the animation instead. So what we can do is add track, call method track. And then in here, we can connect it to our player. And then at the end of our animation, we can insert key. And then we can find our new function that we just made. It's called attack finished. We open. And if you're not finding this, if you're not finding this function, sometimes Godot is a bit slow on these things. So you might have to reload your game. So now we're just going to do that for each one to add our player. Insert key, attack finished, attack left. Uh, attack method, player, insert key, attack finished, and last one, attack right, I'm gonna call method, player, connected to our player, insert key, attack finished, awesome. And now we're going to actually add our attack state. So we're going to make a blend space 2D, name it attack, we're going to edit it, we're going to go into here, we're gonna add our points. So add our attack left, Add our attack right, attack down, I believe, on the top, and attack up on the bottom. Awesome. And now we're just going to change the blend space back to root. We're going to add transition between each one. So from attack back to walk and attack back, etc. So it's basically a circle, almost, or a triangle, I suppose. And now I think that's it, actually. So let's test it. We attack, and then once we're done, we finish attacking. And I, I can't walk unless my attack animation is finished. All right, so now the question is, how do I actually attack, right? So we have our monster here. How do I actually attack? Well, um, what we want to do is we're going to create an area 2D. So we're going to create an area, essentially, where if, if I'm attacking, this area becomes visible or it becomes true that I'm attacking essentially. So we're going to create an area 2D. And in this area 2D, we're going to create a collision shape. Here it is. And we're going to give it a shape. We're going to give it a capsule shape. And what we'll do is we'll do the anime attack right first. So we'll go to this. We'll make our uh, thing visible. We'll make it smaller, much smaller. Give it a little capsule. And this will be our collision, essentially. And right here is where I kind of want it to be. So in this attack animation, what we can do is we can set this collision shape um, transformation. So what we're going to do is we're going to set the rotation degree. We're going to set the rotation degree. And I think, I think that's it, actually, because what we'll do is we'll also have Okay, let's, for example, attack left, what we can do is we can make it 180 and then set, ooh, that's not right. We'll set the position to seven. Nope, minus nine instead. There we go. And we'll key that. And then rotation degree, we'll actually keep it at zero as well. And then we'll go back to attack right. We're also going to key the position for this one, which is nine. Oops, nine. Nope, not zero. Nine. There we go. Awesome. And then if I attack down, what we'll do is we'll actually make this 90. Nope. Um, we'll actually just, we'll edit it. So actually, yeah, 90. And then, so we'll key that. And then, yeah, I think that's a good position. All right, we'll bring it up slightly. And then we'll key this position as well. And then we'll go to attack up. And we'll go to we'll move that up a little bit. We'll look at the attack. Maybe a little higher. 
and then we can key the position. We can also key the rotation. Nine, minus 90 is fine. Awesome. And now, so every time I attack, this area 2D shows up. So um, we can rename it to um, detect attack de detector de detector. There we go. Um, and then we can attach it to. Uh, actually, what we'll do is we'll also make monitoring true in the beginning, and then we're going to make it false in the end for each attack. Attack down. So we're going to have to go back to each one. Key. Attack right. Key. Attack up. Key. And then monitor off. Key. Monitor right. Turn it off. Attack left. Turn it off. And then yeah, so that's, there we go. Now we have it true for each one. Okay, and I'll keep it true for the entire duration of the animation, that's okay. Um, and now what we should be able to do is let's connect this signal. Um, we'll, do, we'll do body and then we can do print body name and then play. Now let's play. Now, if I attack, it prints the skeleton's name because I, I hit it. And I can do this for all four directions because our area 2D is hitting it. So if I'm facing the other way and I'm trying to attack, it won't work. Awesome. So now how do we make it, how do we get its uh, HP? So one thing, okay, so let's, what we can do, okay, you know what? Why don't we do this for now? Let's. Just to triple check it works, we can actually um, Q3. I think this work, should work. So we can get the body and Q3. Hopefully, I spelled that right. So, right now, if I'm not attacking, it won't do anything. But then once I attack it and hit it, it'll disappear because it'll Q3, right? Um, however, this might also work for signs because that is also a sign or it also has a body, right? So, one thing I can do is I can have the name call style, or actually, you know what? We're not gonna do that. We're going to go into our script and we're going to say hostile equals true. So now what we can do instead is we go to our player, we can say if body dot hostile equals true, then Q3. Um, Actually, no, that might error because in our sign, yeah, I think this will error. Yeah, that'll error. Okay, so instead what we'll do is we'll actually, we'll add the hostile in the name. So hostile skelly. And so now what we can do instead is go back to our player and then we can say if hostile is in the body name, then we can Q for you. Um, Let's actually change it. So we'll do health minus equals three. And then we have to actually give our skeleton some health. So we'll actually change the hostile to health. And then we'll do equals uh, five. And then what we can do is in our physics process, we can say if health equals or smaller than or equal zero, then Q free. And now what we can do is go back to our player, double check that we actually spelled this right, right here. Okay, we spelled it right, awesome. Now we can play. And now I should not be able to attack our sign because our sign doesn't have HP, it doesn't have the word hostile in its name. However, when I attack the, the skeleton, okay, it doesn't seem like it's working. Let's double check. Um, let's go to our player, attack. Um, Ooh, where did our, oh no, that's not our player. That's why. Here we go. Hostile in the name. Is it not in the name? Should be. Let's go back to our player. Let's add a line that's the print body.name. Let's try one more time. Okay, so it's not entering this area for some reason. Let's print the name outside of it. 
see what happens then. Okay, so Skelly. Ah, I see. Because here it didn't update, so I have to delete this and then add the Skelly again. Let's play. Now if I hit it twice, it should disappear. Awesome, so now we have a kind of functioning, working game with our attack and our skeleton. There's no knockback, there's no, our player doesn't have HP yet. Um, we'll, we'll do that next time. We'll add some knockback, we'll add some other things, which will be fun. Um, and then we'll also add some tweening. So hopefully, I'm not sure if that'll be next video or the video after, but we'll add some tweening, which is a node, um, and that'll be inside the UI. So let's actually make this invisible. And, and so what we can do, what I'll, another thing we can do is we can kind of change the time we monitor our attack. So the only, let's say I want the, the attack to only be monitored on this, these two frames, right? So here it's not monitoring, here it's monitoring, here it's monitoring, or we'll move this a little bit. And then here it's not monitoring anymore, right? So we can kind of do that for each one. So that's how you can kind of change it up a little bit and make it a bit more difficult, I suppose, to actually hit things. You can change that here, change that there. And now it's only monitoring in that in those two or three frames, right? Um, this, uh, you can also change the size of this guy. So it's a bit small, so you can kind of change it. It's up to you, obviously. Um, the animation player is pretty small. So the, the actual player itself, the sprite is really tiny. So it's kind of hard to, you know, do anything, but yeah. So now we have a working game, which is awesome. Um, yeah, that's it. Uh, I'm really excited to see how much further we can do. Um, I think, yeah, I think next time we'll do knockback. I'm not sure what else we'll do, but um, if you guys are interested, subscribe, like the video, comment, share, etc. Um, I hope you guys are learning something. If not, let me know and I'll try to change up the video a little bit.